Welcome to my channel. Our today topic is to calculate the heat loss using sidewalk simulations through our double pane window. Here is the double pane window. In this simulation, you will learn how you can calculate the heat loss through this window and also we will calculate the inner side temperature of the window. Here is the window that is made of two glass plates. Each glass sheet or plate is 4 mm in thickness and the spacing between these two glass plate is 10 mm that is filled with air. And inside temperature of the room is 20 degree centigrade while the heat transfer coefficient is 10 watt per meter square centigrade. While the environmental or atmospheric or outside temperature is minus 10 degree centigrade and the heat transfer coefficient is 40 watt per meter square centigrade. So the aim is to calculate the heat loss through this double pane window and determine the state, steady state rate of heat transfer through this double pane window and the temperature of the inner surface of for the day. So this is the, we want to calculate the temperature at this inner surface of the window. So first of all, we will make a 3D model of this window. Please note that this window is 0.8 meter high and 1.5 meter thick. So let's start our SOLIDWORKS simulations now. So first of all open SOLIDWORKS and change the units into meter kilogram second. Then make a sketch on the front plane and draw a centered rectangle. Okay. The size of this rectangle is 0.8 meter high and 1.5 meter wide. So this is 0.8 meter high and 1.5 meter wide. You can reverse the directions 1.5 meter in order to so make it look better. No problem. You can make like this. Okay. Then extrude it with the thickness of 4 millimeter. Change units to millimeter. Okay. Then we will make an other window that is that is 10 millimeter apart. So just select the this bodies and go to linear patterns from directions select this edge and from the number of instances set to And here is the check the bodies options, select this body and the distance is 14 millimeter. Okay. So we have made a two plates of the glass. You can see the distance between this edge as well as this edge is 10 millimeter. After that, you will make another rectangle that will be used to fill the air. To draw a corner rectangle starting from here and ending at here. 
okay exit from sketch now and make a simple extrude change the direction of extrusion to point 8 meter please ensure that merge that is unchecked so that we can get the three bodies this is the body glass plate 1 this is the glass plate 2 and this is the the material that will be used for air so please save our work of creating this 3d model and start a simulation study so click on the simulation tab and go to the new study and from the study type select the thermal okay so our next step is to assign the material so select this part or the this is the made of the glass plate go to the edit material options and from here go to the other non metals category then select the glass you can see the thermal conductivity of the glass is 0.74 watt per meter Kelvin. Apply. Again, select this one and again apply the glass material to this part. Go to the non metals and the glass. Apply. And the middle part is made of is filled with air so just right click here and assign air as the material please note that the thermal conductivity of air is 0 0.027 apply so we will take this side as the inner side of the room or the window the room side and this is the outer side so just we will apply the inlet inner side boundary conditions that is the convection heat transfer where the temperature is 20 degree of the room and convection heat transfer is the 10. So again go to thermal loads and select the convection options and select this phase and uh, enter the value of the convection heat transfer coefficient that is 10 and from here the temperature is 20 degree centigrade that means you can see the temperature of the room is 20 degree that is 293 Kelvin and if we go to the outside temperature that is minus 10 degree centigrade that will be 263 Kelvin and heat transfer coefficient is 40 so again from the thermal loads select the convection boundary conditions and select this phase enter the convection heat transfer coefficient that is 40 and the ambient temperature that is 263 now it's time to run the simulation study if you are new to my channel you can subscribe and if you have any query you can ask us in the comment sections so simulation is being converted now wait until solution completes so our solution is complete our next step is to evaluate the heat transfer rate as well as inside temperature of the window So if we come to the results, you can see the inside temperature, inside temperature of the window that is 11.84 degree centigrade. You can use the probe in order to see the temperature at inside of the window at anywhere that is about 11.4 degree centigrade. Similarly, the total heat loss 
to this window go to results and right click on the list heat power then select the this phase then the total heat loss is 96 watt through this double pane window i hope you enjoyed this simulation tutorials thank you for watching